Crypto and DeFi on the rise In the last video, we talked briefly about DeFi and how it might be the key to overthrow banks as the controlling power. But as we all know for a fact, it's not that simple. But everyone's trying to replace it, so is Solana with its new announcement. Hey crypto lovers, it is Crypto Billionaire, your friendly neighborhood crypto and financial education channel. In today's video, we'll tell you all about what exactly DeFi is and how Solana is planning to enter this new market. So stick with us till the end to understand the plans of Solana for DeFi. But before we begin, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for the latest in amazing cryptocurrency and blockchain videos. So let's begin with the video. Let's start with explaining what the hell is DeFi that everyone's crazy about. So, decentralized finance has been one of the greatest technologies ever developed on the blockchain. Because of its decentralization, users are able to save a lot of their precious time, especially when the service involves loan processes and other ways to make money. Imagine how much time you can save with smart contracts, automatically executing your agreement with another person without waiting for approval from some banks. Well, that will be a faster and efficient way, right? Let's move on to its infrastructure. DeFi infrastructure is simply the bones of the system. It's what holds the whole structure so it can function well. This infrastructure consists of the tools used throughout the system, the application layer, and the core system. You already have a bit of idea about DeFi, but want to know more about how it works and what are the possible improvements, then just stick around until the end. So if you talk about banks, buildings, lockers, and safeties are tools. But the tools used in DeFi are digital wallets, front ends, block explorers, analytics, and oracles. Digital wallets are the wallets used to buy and sell cryptos. The most popularly used are MetaMask and Trust Wallet, which are compatible with almost all decentralized exchanges and projects. Front end is simply the process of converting data into graphics so users can easily use the technology. Block Explorer is an instrument used by users and developers so they can check out crypto transactions on the internet. Yes, it's possible to track those transactions. Analytics is the systematic analysis of data. It's used in all industries, including DeFi. Oracles are tools that help blockchain technologies perform a series of tasks automatically. On one hand, the application layer is better discussed starting with this question. Where is DeFi infrastructure applied? And from there, you can discover that the tools used in DeFi are utilized to create decentralized exchanges, lending, stable coins, yields, vaults, indexes, synthetic assets, insurance, launch pads, and options. Decentralized exchanges like Soldex benefit a lot from DeFi infrastructure. We'll talk about Soldex as well. Just bear with me for a few moments to first explain the meaning of DeFi to you. So, the decentralization of the system allows exchange platforms to offer state-of-the-art exchange facilities to users without relying on an intermediary. Now, some of you might ask, as banks have a system, building and employees, what is DeFi's system? So, DeFi is built on the blockchain, its core system. The blockchain makes it possible for DeFi platforms to manage the ledger, transactions, and accounting in one place. It's like a place for all, which makes the process easier, more efficient, and accessible to anyone. And what would be the future improvements in DeFi? Well, the current DeFi infrastructure is working fine with almost all blockchain projects. Although there are bottlenecks, blockchain technologies keep on working to improve their system. So, what are the potential missing pieces in the current DeFi infrastructure? Minor things like notifications and alerts are currently not available for DeFi projects. This would be one of the greatest improvements if integrated accordingly. It's a hassle for some to go to Google or other browsers and access DeFi apps. Second, digital wallets are considered external applications. Before you can sign in to a DeFi app, you will be redirected to wallet apps like MetaMask. No blockchain projects have integrated a digital wallet, so users can simultaneously sign in and confirm transactions. Decentralized finance is revolutionizing the finance industry. There are many opportunities available, but there is still so much more to offer once the system is improved. But what improvement does Solana Dex promise then? Stick with us till the end and find out all about it. So, this upcoming decentralized exchange built on Solana will combine machine learning, neural networks, and blockchain technology to let users create and deploy their own trading bots. Soldex is a third-generation crypto exchange and one of the first decentralized exchanges, DEX, to be built on Solana. 
What sets it apart from centralized exchanges and even other DEX is its unique machine learning algorithms for automated trading that can be developed and deployed by the users themselves. Moreover, the platform considers the fact that it is built on Solana to be a huge advantage. The Solana blockchain is known to be faster and quicker than most blockchains today, delivering transaction speeds 2,000 times greater than Ethereum S at less than a fraction of the cost. In fact, it was this efficiency that led to Solana's monumental rise this year, the effects of which naturally passed on to its ecosystem of projects. Soldex believes it will be uniquely poised to become a key player in the decentralized exchange space and investors have been paying attention. The platform recently secured an investment from CSP DAO, a blockchain-focused venture capital firm and popular tech investor Even Luthra. But what advantages does Solana have? The platform employs machine learning and neural network algorithms with which traders can set up their own customized bots. These bots will be designed according to a trader's individual criteria of risk tolerance, budget, time frame, margin, crypto pairs, and volatility. The DEX's tool won't just be limited to expert traders for use. Even the average trader will have access to educational tools that will guide him through the process of setting up an AI-powered trading bot. In addition to buying and selling assets, the trading bots are also capable of performing market data analysis and risk prediction. Soldex commented and I quote, Our AI is meant to help our users whether it's a good or bad time for the crypto market. The market is not always green, it has its ups and downs too. The exchange leverages the Solana ecosystem to enable a quick and easy trading experience for users of the platform while keeping it completely decentralized. According to Soldex, a key area of importance when designing its new generation trading platform was always speed and efficiency in blockchain infrastructure. Solana boasts 65,000 transactions per second TPS, making Ethereum's 30 TPS look pale in comparison. Even at these high speeds, the cost of transaction could be as low as $0.00001 whereas the same transaction on Ethereum could see users paying $12 or $13 on average. As a result, Soldex claims it can carry out real-time transactions, easy deposits using the exchange wallets and light speed swaps. To summarize it all, DEX is the future. It has its perks, but new things take time to mold and never really come out without any mistakes. It has its own limitations that it needs to fight. Projects like Solana Dex are trying hard and it's really appreciable that they're keeping common people in mind and developing products for mass adoption, not just the tech geeks or the trades. How about you guys? What are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments below and do like the video if you enjoy their content. And lastly, I don't know what it is that you're going to do with that red color button below. Stake it for more subscribers on Solana Dex or, you know, simply click it until it becomes gray or any other color. Your choice, but it must not be red anymore, as I don't like that red color. Hit that bell icon as well if you don't want to miss any updates. Until then, peace out.